Isn't this area beautiful? From my understanding, it's privately owned, so I don't go far. But I just love here. I love this area. Nature. It's awesome. I can feel the wind blow. It's my ancestors. You hear the bird? Birds are messengers. Birds are my ancestors coming to give me messages. Do you know how your ancestors give you messages? Are you in tune with nature? Are you in tune with the animal kingdom? Get in tune. Learn the indigenous way. I was in a ceremony a couple of years ago, and that's the message I got. The reason why our people lost their way is because they lost the indigenous way. For me to learn the indigenous way and then share it with others. What indigenous things, what indigenous practices that's in your family? That your grandmama, granddaddy, mother, father, even yourself use. It was given down from the bloodline. What's the practices? Leave a comment below. Tell me the practices. They probably came from Africa. Think about it. If you like this video, please like, share, and leave that comment below. I would love to hear some of the practices that you all still use. Think about it. Let's see. Th some things like... Hmm, what are some practices? I remember my mother, she's no longer with us, but she would do things like, um, like, uh, or, you know, all of that. That's from the motherland. What are some other things? She wasn't a superstitious woman, but she would tell me, don't, don't put that hat on that bed, take it off. That was one of the superstitious things she did believe in. And to this day, I won't put a hat on a bed. So, tell me, what are some things that's in your bloodline, that's in your family, things that you all do today? Put it in the comments below. I would love to read it. We'll talk about it. Until later, I'm Serenity and peace.